everyone, welcome back to Danielle's Decor. Well today I'm going to be working on this little lantern right here, trying to do something cute and fun with that for this summer. Um, I wanted to share, my mom went to Hobby Lobby the other day and she's sending me pictures and she's like, oh my Hobby Lobby's got so much clearance stuff going on right now. And she's sending me pictures of all these things and I'm like, mom, I'll take this and I'll take that. <laughs> Says how much? Okay, well go ahead and pick that up too. But I really only got a couple things um, that she went ahead and picked up for me. She brought them down last night. We did a little craft night here at the house. It's actually Sunday, so we did that Saturday night. And uh, we had a good time. She wanted to do something with seashells. She keeps seeing everybody doing their coastal decor things. And she's like, I want to make something with seashells. So she went and bought a bunch of different little lanterns and candles and she wanted to make candle rings and we just had a good time my sister come down and she sat there and crocheted and stuff while we worked on our little candle ring things <laughs> but I'll go ahead and show you guys a picture of her little candle ring and what all she ended up making most of it I think I did a little tea light thing but I'll go ahead and show you guys the picture Well, let me show you what uh, she picked up at Hobby Lobby, and they had some really good clearance stuff. All their little dishes, like this, they have clearance down. This little bowl was $2.99, so I thought that was really pretty and different. So I'll probably use this out in the kitchen, maybe put like just a little greenery ball in it or something cute, some little potpourri or something, but I just, I love the little look of it. So for $2.99, I thought that was a great buy. And then I have been actually looking for these. I've seen um, a lot of people use them on their bookshelves and, and displays and things. And I thought that they were adorable. And so I've been looking for some. They had this one for $4.49. And my phone does not want to focus. And then they had a smaller one for $3.74. So I got the little set like that. So I'll probably use these on my little bookshelves over here, which I haven't started working on them yet. <laughs> that will be probably later on. I still got to do the mantle and some other areas that, and then we'll get to work on that. But I picked up, well, she got me two of these little things like this, just little decor things, but they were $1.99. Let's see if I can get $1.99. They were eight. So I thought this was a great price for these. They're, I like that they're kind of white with a little bit of the wood on it. So we're going to be using these in here somewhere. <laughs> Not quite sure where. But so I wanted to share that with you guys. They were having a really good sale at her Hobby Lobby. I didn't get to go. Her and my sister snuck off without me. <laughs> but I might go up there later on and check it out. I'm looking for, I need some Afghans. So I took my ladder, I don't know if you can kind of see, but over here on this wall is where my ladder uh, for my cozy corner ladder usually sits. So I took that out and I'm thinking that I want to go ahead and take everything off of it and I just want to put a couple pretty little afghans hanging off of it and then have my lantern in front. So I just need to find some afghans that I like. <laughs> I have some, but they're more kind of the stars and stripe patriotic like that but I did go Friday and I got my stitches out you guys can kind of see that but my stitches are gone I'm pretty well healed up like it's tender right there but I'm good to go uh, they did send it off and have it tested so everything came back good no cancer no skin cancer anything like that and it come back as just a skin tag so it wasn't even a mole it was just a skin tag but <laughs> my doctor did say, welcome to your 40s. <laughs> this is what happens when you start getting older. And it's like, thanks a lot. I don't want to get old. <laughs> this is not fun. <laughs> but all right, I guess I'm going to go ahead and point you guys over here and we'll get started on this lantern and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'll be right back. Hopefully you guys can kind of see what I got going. This lantern, um, when I get it finished, let's get you back a little got all my stuff sitting over here um, when I get this lantern finished I'm gonna leave the door open on it 
So it's kind of kind of set in this corner, and then when I bring my ladder back out, it'll probably go back here. But I might not use the ladder. I'm not sure yet. It's a work in progress. So basically, I'm going to start with this little black vase. And my husband had bought me flowers years ago, and it came in this vase right here. And I just took some greenery like this and put that kind of sticking out the top. So I wanted to put this kind of back there in that corner just to kind of give it a little bit of height and a little bit of texture at the very back. And then I have my little white candlestick like this and then I just have a little thing of, I got sticky dots on there. <laughs> I just have a little thing of foam kind of sitting on top of there. And that's gonna sit down right next to it, just like that. When I get it done, you won't see this. I just needed something to give it a little bit of height. And then I have one of my little terracotta pots that I painted and kind of scuffed up. So that's gonna sit here, kind of in the front. And then I have some of these little towels. I bought a few of them uh, kind of in the spring. They had them at the grocery store for 88 cents. So I bought some yellow ones to use in my spring and then I bought some of the navy blue to kind of use in my uh, summer, or more the patriotic colors. So basically, I'm just, I am just—I want to be able to see this dark line, so I just folded it over and I'm kind of crumpling it. And I'm going to just lay it kind of like that so that it kind of comes out and around my, my little pot. Like that. Hopefully you guys can I'm gonna need to bring it down a little bit more. So, just to kind of have it sit a little bit like that and then I took I keep going blurry I took a little grapevine wreath and I just tied a little piece of ribbon across the top of it like that and this I want to sit at the very back and I know it's kind of hard to see but it's sitting on top of this little piece of foam right here so that's gonna go there and then I have this little thing of flowers that I bought for um clearance I think they were like four dollars something like that from Hobby Lobby so I'm just gonna set that down inside that terracotta pot but I like that it was full and it's got the little bits of green and it's got little touches of purple and yellow but and then I have a bunch of greenery pieces like this I have some of the little blueberry pieces that I cut apart. I have some little red flowers from last year that I pulled out of my Patriotic that were kind of used here and there. So I'm gonna use these pieces to fill in into this to kind of bring my colors, my reds and my blues into this little pot right here as well. Just fill it out a little bit more. But I have these two little birds and these were the ones from Trees and Trends. On this phone I'm sorry you guys Ugh. it's so aggravating <laughs> work like you're supposed to <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna start with my greenery pieces and I'm kind of untangled <clears throat> and I want a couple of them coming out of the front of my pot just kind of hanging over like that, just so that I got a little bit of greenery hanging down the front. And then I'm gonna have a little bit kind of coming out from back behind my pot over there, and then a little bit more kind of coming out on the other side. Just so it looks like there's quite a bit of greenery. And every time I look away, this goes blurry on me. Like it doesn't know what to focus on. So now I'm gonna take some of my little blueberries and some of my red flowers and I'm gonna fill in this little vase right here. I'm gonna start with my bigger pieces of my blueberries because I want them to kind of go back here. And these taller ones, I'm actually wedging in between this pot and my terracotta pot so that I'm not shoving it down into there. Just find a right spot for it. We'll do that one over there. And then 
I'm going to come in. I want a little bit of the blue kind of hanging out the front. I'll put some little pieces of blue in and around inside there. When I'm finished, I'll take you guys down and kind of show you a little bit closer. And then I'm going to come back in with my red flowers and I'm just going to add some of them kind of in different spots around in here as well just to bring it that pop of red that it needs. Okay, down here at the bottom next to this little bird right here, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a couple little red flowers next to him just to bring a little touch of red down there. And that's how I'm gonna do this little lantern right here. But I think that's all I'm gonna do to it. Like I said, I wanna leave this open because I want to be able to see everything. I want things kind of spilling out of the front of it. So that's what we are gonna do there. And let me take you down and I'll show you guys up close what it looks like. Be right back. Okay guys, here's kind of the whole little lantern. I might add a bow onto it later. Maybe something a little bit simple. Not quite sure yet. We'll have to see once I get my ladder and my F again over there. So let's start down here at the bottom. There's my little bird. And then the flowers. Just love the pops of red with the blue like that. I just think that's so pretty. And then back there in the back. Kind of got your little greenery up there and a little wreath. So and that's how I'm going to do that little lantern. I'm loving this blue and this white this year. It's just beautiful. So this is kind of a short little quick video, but I will be back. As you can see, I have stuff that I still have to do. My mom did bring me some more of her blue pieces. This is one of them that she had at the house. So she brought me that. I just got to kind of move some things around and get my shelves worked on. So... <laughs> Anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, thanks for watching. Bye.